Well, this is between Pune Ripaltan who won their encounter. The Bangdeli have one win and one loss. It is quarter past nine on a Friday evening here in India. If you want action, if you want sport, look no further than this contest between Pune Ripaltan and Dabang Delhi. Mirat Sheikh had seven points in the first match that he played, none in the second. And there he comes. This is the only sport where you raid solo and you defend in a unit. One versus seven is always how it begins. The raider must cross the block line, which he does. Yeah, interesting. You talked about the second game where he did not have a point really to his name. That's also because he spent over 20 minutes on the bench. And here's a man who always loved. He loves to raid in Utah. Yes, he does it one more time. That is an error, a big one coming in from the experienced Nilesh Shinde. That's exactly what Puneri Paltin can do to you, isn't it? Their defense is so strong. Suddenly you are led to believe the only way you can do all right is to shore up your defense. But on that occasion, he just left the pack. And as you look at uh, Deepak Nawaz, who Oh, has he got it? He has. And has he managed to go beyond the line? Maybe there was a chance. I think. I mean, it's got to be interesting. Yes, it's eventually gone to Dabang Delhi. Yeah, because uh, life had been taken out of him and the officials had decided. There he goes. Now, this is a do or die raid. He has to get a point. He thinks he's got it. He thinks he's come out of the troubled waters with a fantastic touch. And Dharmanath Erlatan finally says, yes, he did. For a moment you thought Mirad Sheikh believed he had a lot more time on his hands than he actually did. He probably had a few extra seconds. Have a look at them going for the right corner, but Sandeep Narwal is just outstanding in the way he anticipates and in the way he executes. And, oh, he's managed it so very easily. He's, so, he's, he's, he's done exceptionally well on that occasion. A hop, skip and jump, and you pick up two points. But this is a do or die raid. And Mirad Sheikh is back in the business. He spent a fair degree of time outside on the bench. Good to see he's chosen himself for this opportunity. He has been thrown into the wolves. He likes this. Can really go back conquering it. Now these are smart men. Look, it's not a high line defense at all. And I'm just looking at the clock. Ah! The fantastic combination of Deepak Divas with Anson Deep Narval. Finish Mirad. It comes as absolutely no surprise, really, that Puneri Paltan have done all right. And that is what experience does to you. He's experienced. He knows that uh, one bad 10 minutes does not mean you have a bad match. It's just a phase, as we saw in the previous previous match today. Tamil Talaivas were trailing hugely in the first half. They came back strongly, and the Bulls won it because one referral did not go in the favor of their opponents. And the half has ended. What an interesting half this has been. A four-point lead for the Pune Paltan, but that is what it is. It can change. Yeah, he might want to spend more time on the mat than on the bench. That is still probably one of the stories of that particular 20 minutes. At the stroke of half time, it is 11-7 in favor of Pune Paltan. They are up against Dabang Delhi. Exactly, and sharing the burden, no. my heart goes back to the previous match. We'll come back to that later. For the moment, this is a super tackle opportunity. One of the things that I like so much because action for the defense is more. To gain from the defense is more. Would they want to inflict the pain on the radar? If they pin him down because there are three defenders on the mat, then they'll get, they'll get two points. But Deepak Nivasuda, smart man. Well done, RK. You got it absolutely bang on. And this is why they say that you need to hunt in pairs. Now, Sandeep Narwal has crossed the line there. So that is life for the Dabangs. That's hugely important raid as well from Anand Patel. Just making sure one man is off. He gets two points. One for the bonus, one for the touch. Bonus does not bring about a revival. Touch point does. Oh, there's a review now. 
Right. That's the bonus is the first that you need to look at. The right leg is well over that black line. And why? what are they challenging? Are they challenging a touch plus Sandeep Narwal goes out? So are they challenging one more extra point here? Because bonus was something that was already granted to them and they have taken the review. And they were granted one point plus a bonus. Review successful. Bonus plus two points. Exactly. That was the one point they were contesting. And that's exactly what they got. Two points, two touches. Great review. If Deepak Nivasuda in this do or die rate targets Miraj, that Chen, Sunil, ha they have to be well within reach to offer support. Under 15 seconds, action has to happen. And they finally got it. They've got it. Brilliant. This is super tackle for Jelly. Fantastic effort, definitely from Dabang Delhi, but you also need to give credit to Miraj Sheikh for the way he crouched there. Now, this is again a super tackle opportunity. In simple terms, three or less number of defenders. Pin the radar down, you want to! But yeah, Rajesh Mortal wins too! He has reduced Delhi to just one man on the match! It was really a matter of who blinks first because he went in for that particular negation. You got rid of Mirad Sheikh there, and you've got another man there. And rightly so, because they need a Raider now. They need a Raider because they need, they've given them the bonus, but that's it. They've finally taken the life out of the Raider. And this is all out for Puneli Falchan, which means two extra points. Doesn't matter who the Raider is, if you've got a full strength Puneri Falchan operating, it was always going to be difficult. That power, that muscle was just outstanding. Oh, that's smart. That Did is I see smart. That? Oh, 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 oh. that is the best dash I've ever seen. Well done, Niles. That's got to be the dash of this edition of Vivo Pro Kabaddi. Talk about smart work. This was incredible stuff. You talk about one of the leading all-rounders of the world. And that is the reason. That is the reason, ladies and gentlemen. And that is... He has crossed 400 points in the history of Vivo Pro, Vivo Pro Kabaddi. So for the moment, here comes a man with 400 total points in the history of Vivo Pro Kabaddi. Left Raider, direct battle with the right corner, and that is Nilesh Shinde. He's staying away from him. Abul Fazal goes to the bench. Right, they look so very calm and composed. Is Puneri Paltan just nicking away those points? The Raider has to go and get a point. There's no choice really left for him but to go and commit himself. If he commits, that could happen. But on that occasion, again, Sandeep Narwal, a big fish, who's got to sit out for a while now. And he deserves to sit out because from an experienced campaign, like said, look where he makes the tackle. He goes for a kick and he believes he has got one. And that's a massively important point. I mean, I know it's just a solitary point, but have a look at who he's taken off. Now, there, this man. Oh, well, what do you say about him? He knows how to jump over if you go low, and he brings back one more point. And that is a knife which is not belonging to the Mirad Chick. And here, he has crossed the balk line already. You can expect him to kill some time because he knows the story will not change. Even if he succumbs, they will lose by seven and still they'll be able to pocket a point. He can afford to get a little adventurous, uses the lobbies, he thinks he's got a touch. Will he reduce this deficit? Point has been granted, so finally it is curtains. It's a five-point win to Puneri Falton, but Dabang Delhi, good that they fought till the end. Yeah, they did fight till the end, but did they fight with the right ammunition? That's the question that we need to be asking because the biggest ammunition is that man, number two, Mirad Sheikh, who was just watching the game of Kabaddi. If he had been on the court, things could have been a lot more different, but he wouldn't be complaining because it is another good, confident performance from an all-round side in Puneri Paltan. Absolutely. 
Champions are propelled by desire and compelled by fear.